Hey beautiful, welcome back to my tarot channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Roya. I'm an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is also going to be a candle wax reading as you guys can see and it's all about your next relationship. So let's see my dear, what do you need to know about your next relationship? Everything is welcomed, what kind of relationship is going to be, who it's going to be with, right? What you need to know about it. So we're definitely very open to this today. So let's look into that. And as always, I have three pals for you to choose from. And I have crystals and cards for you to select. So this is pal one, this is pal two, and this is pal three. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course, also in the comment section. And as always, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey pal one, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what do you need to know about your next relationship. As always my dear, I already meditated for you guys and I would say let's start straight away with the reading. I also have your candle right here so let's start. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so for my beautiful pile one, what do you need to know about your next relationship? Let's see, let's see. Dear pile one. There is one thing. One second. Okay, um, there is one thing, my dear, that I would like to to talk about here. And I already got this energy coming through in the meditation as well. And it's a indecisiveness. And I really, really feel like this indecisiveness has something to do with where you will be at in your life when it comes to the time when you will meet this next uh, relationship, okay? Yeah, it's something happening on a personal level. So I'm seeing that it could be related to your job. It could be related to maybe a personal decision that you want to do when it comes to your life. Let me give you guys an example. Mm, let's just say someone would like to move, okay? someone would like to move or come go somewhere or do something once again when it comes to their career and stuff like that and it's kind of like your mind is occupied with this decision when this will come through which is very interesting so i see that something is going to is going to take some energy from you when this person enters your life or maybe for some of you guys, if you already met this person, um, you know, you have already experienced this, but this is something I'm seeing here. And one thing that I would like to say regarding this relationship is that it's going to be pretty easy for you to connect with this person. That's something I want to really emphasize in here. 
because, you know, sometimes we may connect with people easier than with others, sometimes maybe even much more like difficult. Maybe there is something about the chemistry or the compatibility, but I really feel like when it comes to this person that you will have your next relationship with, there is something about them that makes it very easy for you to open up. For some reason, I'm hearing in comparison to the other people, so that's interesting, maybe for some of you guys. It sometimes is a little bit difficult for you to do that, or maybe in comparison to people you've been with in the past, if of course for some of you guys this resonates with you. But there is definitely this message in here. I'm hearing it's not complicated. Maybe for some of you guys, relationships or love tends to always have this element of it has to be complex or complicated in some kind of shape or form. And what I'm getting here is that it can also be easy or it can sometimes also be lighthearted. It doesn't always have to be harsh or confusing or complex, right? So this is going to be something very refreshing. And I feel like maybe that's the thing. Maybe this is what's also going to allow you to open up. You're going to feel like you're safe to open up or there is not a lot for you to worry about there is not a lot that's blocking you when it comes to this relationship and once again in the beginning i talked about this indecisiveness right that maybe is in your life but it's not connected to love okay so i want to make this very very clear as i said this choice that you may have to make or this indecisive energy it is not related to your romantic life but to another aspect but it's coming through because energetically speaking you know it it's influencing the time of your life all right that's just something i want to clarify here so you know you guys understand um, it better because i was just talking about this relationship something about it feeling very easy so maybe some people are going to get confused here regarding those two messages but they're not connected okay Another thing that I would like to say, I'm getting a message regarding who this person is that you're connecting with here. And I'm getting someone who's very protective. This person that you're going to have your next relationship with, this is not someone who was like... Mm, maybe protected or cuddled that much when it comes to life you know they definitely know the harsh reality that's out there and i see that this person has definitely had their fair share of experiences when it comes to challenges and stuff like that they know how this world can be they know that this world of course has a lot of beautiful sides to it right but there are also a lot of challenges and they're aware of this and I really feel like when it comes to their personality or character, they like to be in this protective energy because they want to keep their loved ones away from maybe those hardships that they have seen and encountered in their life. And this is coming from a place of love. They're definitely the kind of person who... wants to take care of what's dear to them or wants to protect what's dear to them that's coming through so so strongly my dear i'm hearing that the well-being Wow, yeah. The well-being of the loved ones of this person. 
is it the best way no did i describe it the right way um the well-being of this person's loved ones um okay i think this way it's right it's really like one of the highest priorities to them and they like to support that well-being this is something that i'm seeing very very clearly so you know mm, one second you know those kind of people who are genuinely happy when they see their loved ones full um well and peaceful it brings joy to them themselves this is the kind of person i feel like it is very difficult for them to sleep at night if for example they know someone they care about is struggling because sometimes people can turn that off you know of course you care about other people but maybe it's sometimes like certain things just make you feel cold or you don't really care about it to such an extent and with this person for example, when it comes to you, maybe you have a problem. Maybe this problem doesn't really affect this person. But still, because it is your problem, it also becomes their problem. They want to offer help. They want to find an opportunity perhaps to solve it for you. Excuse me, to solve, <laughs> to solve it for you or to somehow help you with that okay with a possible solution this is the kind of energy i'm i'm stepping into and honestly i feel like you're gonna value this a lot because maybe you haven't really seen anyone like that before or maybe you've seen the complete opposite and therefore you understand how valuable this really is and it's not just something that you take for granted you know someone caring like this for you and wanting to make your life easier you see guys that's another thing this easy aspect is coming through again i talked about the fact that you know there is this easy energy going on when it comes to you guys connecting but it's coming through again there is more to it and it's very refreshing this is the kind of relationship that it's drama free or there is not one person on a purpose trying to bring drama into the space because they like it because they're used to it or because it makes things more like i don't know like spicier or whatever this is not the kind of individual i'm hearing they're in control of their inner devil now, what, I, what do I mean by that? You know, we all have, like, we all are full of duality. And we all have the good and bad within ourselves. Now, some people may put certain names into those aspects. For example, calling the bad um, part of us, like our shadow self or whatever, um, but it's part of our experience as human beings, you know, the duality part, the feminine and masculine, right? That also we all have within us, which has nothing to do with um, our gender. It's energetically speaking and stuff like that. So there is this element of duality, right? That we all experience one way or another. And when I said they have their inner devil in check, I'm speaking about those... I'm hearing sabotaging aspects of themselves which may want to come out every now and then but they are very good at keeping it in control because they understand where it comes from you know certain sabotaging traits we may have may come from certain negative experiences we've made in the past right and those patterns may come through in certain situations and i feel like this person is very self-aware they understand that even though very often we are on this like autopilot mode it's not really like that there is like certain patterns attached to why we're doing something and how 
and for them they're very much aware of this and one second they won't allow this shadow energy of them to rule their life in fact they control they control it they don't allow it to run around do whatever it wants and stuff like that no you know um in some movies <laughs> Maybe you've seen it like in cartoons or even like um, movies in which there is like on a person's shoulder, there is like this devil and then there's like this angel. Like it's the person themselves, but like we can see a devil version of them, which is like um, colored red. And then there's like this angel version of them with wings and stuff like that, right? I don't know why. But I literally saw that. I saw this and what I got is that they listen to this devil version of themselves. They acknowledge it, but they don't pay it any um, attention. However, they try to understand it. They try to understand where where it's coming from, why it's hurt, why it's so angered or whatever. It's triggering and um, they're very mindful. So this person, wow, <laughs> this could be something that's gonna very much, maybe even, I would say, impress you. Maybe the way you're gonna see they go about things and how mindful they are. For some of you guys, it may even inspire you, all right? When it comes to you and maybe your shadow aspects and how you go about them usually, maybe they will... Um, give you some kind of advice or techniques to to understand yourself better especially those parts of you that you know may sometimes feel very uncomfortable dealing with this is the kind of relationship which will have a very positive impact on your personal development this is something I would like to really say. And this is so interesting, you guys. I chose the cards, like the um, the tarot cards here for every and each pal randomly. But it's so interesting how sometimes, not always, but sometimes I really feel like it's almost like I was guided to choose it or it is connected to the energy of the reading. And with you guys, that's definitely the case in here because we have the devil card in here, right? And the devil card, of course, like every card in the tarot, has a lot of different um, like sides to it. Like it's very depthful. Um, there is a lot that needs to be looked into when it comes to a card's energy. And when it comes to this major arcana um and how it's coming through it's definitely expressing here our shadow side or our our shadow um aspects and it's interesting how i was talking about all the things that this person um you know is um is mindful of and stuff like that and then we have the devil card right here it's kind of like and i even i think i even said their inner devil right if I remember clearly. So yeah, that's very interesting how it's connecting here because this is someone who knows their good and bad traits and they go through life very consciously and mindful. They could also be very calculating, someone who doesn't really act spontaneously. Um, no, 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 um, not spontaneously. Spontaneously is not the right word. Like with temper, is that a better word to use here? They don't just go about something out of um, maybe an emotion that comes out or something random. They're very logically um or practical when it comes to taking steps in their life they don't allow 
this little devil to to lead them they lead themselves wow this was a lot of um energy like a lot of messages when it comes to this part of them but i feel like it is one of the most important parts of them and honestly what makes them maybe very intriguing or unique that they are so in tune with that aspect of themselves and hey, maybe this person has done shadow work, but they're not even aware of it. I mean, for example, maybe this is someone who's not spiritual, so they don't understand what shadow work is. But one way or another, they have done it. You know, maybe they haven't called it shadow work or, um, you know, something like that. But they have really worked on themselves and it has allowed them to really understand themselves fully and accept themselves better and especially understand their um, i'm hearing wounded parts better and know how to go about it this could for example by the way be someone who has gone through therapy in their life before who has mindfully um decided to do that to invest in themselves and their well-being Okay, this is something I'm seeing here. And there is another thing that I would like to say. And this is something regarding the energy of your guys' connection. Or the energy of your guys' relationship. It may be very fast moving. And maybe you guys are normally people who are absolutely not really happy about that maybe you would like to take things slow which of course um, is totally understandable but you know i talked about this easygoing energy it's not just something that you guys decide like you're not it's not like someone is trying to push 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 this into moving very fast or speeding it up no it's not something that you guys do on purpose it's just something that's going to develop pretty natural as i said it may be the case that with this person it's going to be much easier for you to connect with so you know maybe you normally take a long time to connect with someone and to understand them and open up to them but with this person it's going to be much faster because it's i'm hearing it feels so right and it it just makes sense i'm hearing as well so maybe these are thoughts that you're going to have it's but what it, this is about once again is it's about this easygoing energy and the compatibility is very deeply connected to this it's like two pieces of a puzzle coming together why because they're compatible because they fit into each other okay maybe that's a better way to to explain this when you <laughs> have a puzzle in front of you and you find the compatible pieces that you know work together you will be able to finish the puzzle very fast right like in no time because it's easy to find the right um i don't know what they're called like the puzzle pieces right that just fit um very good together but if something is not fitting it may take more time to work it out or to understand it to f see whether it's um compatible and stuff like that that's what i'm talking about and with you guys because those pieces are compatible it's much easier to go with the process all right this is something that maybe is going to be very unique about this relationship in comparison to the other relationship that you already have if of course for some of you guys you have experienced relationships in the past maybe for some of you guys you haven't i feel like for you guys like i haven't recorded pile two and pile three yet you are the first pile but i feel like when it comes to the reading which is all about your next relationship it's more so about who it's going to be with because i really wanted to create an open space here and I definitely see that it's not so much maybe about... Um, 
I mean, we did get some details about their relationship, right? I mean, if we look into what kind of person this is, we can also understand maybe the dynamic. But I really feel like for you today, my dear pal one, what the energies want to share with you is definitely more insights regarding who the person is going to be that you're going to connect with in this next relationship. And hey, maybe some of you guys, you came into this reading with this intention <laughs> that you would like to especially know more about who it's going to be with. So if this is the case, then definitely um, you got a lot of messages regarding that coming through. But this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the intention for you today is about who, who it's going to be with. Is there anything else? No, this is actually all I am getting for you guys, my dear pal, one today. As always, please feel free to let me know how you feel about the reading, my dear. And as always, if you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal one, take care, my dear. Hey, pal two, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see your next relationship, my dear. What do you need to know about it? Everything is welcomed, whether it's information about who it's gonna be with or what kind of relationship and all that definitely welcome today so my dear as always i already meditated for you guys and i even already got some messages coming through and energies but as always i'm gonna first start with the candle wax reading to see where the connections are here and um maybe further information about it so let's start I have your candle right here so let's see for my beautiful pile two as always my dear as always please give me a moment please give me a moment for my dear pile two Yeah, you guys, <laughs> I'm getting a, s a very similar message to what I um, said like in my meditation. A word that is coming through again, that I'm hearing over and over again, and it's captivating. I really feel like there is something about your first interaction, the first meeting, the first impressions that's definitely going to be very big for you guys. And okay, one second, let me understand it better. Okay, all right. So what I'm getting is that one thing, my dear, you will notice about this person is that the word, right, captivating, there's going to be something very captivating about them. Now, I kept this reading very open. So it's interesting how we're getting like first impression energy coming through for you guys. But the next person you're going to have your next relationship with they're going to have a very strong, a very strong and I would say a very positive impression. Like you're going to have a very positive impression on them. I feel like the environment in which you're going to meet, if you haven't met, of course, but the environment is going to be one in which... I'm hearing for some reason you will want to get to know each other like even better. 
So, for example, maybe within this first encounter, you guys are not really gonna have enough time to talk to each other or to really, you know, spend as much time as you may like with each other. So, um, it's kind of like you will have this need or this want to see each other again and to really spend much more time with each other and it's kind of like being captivated this is definitely the word you guys may know i like to use a keyword for every pile or sometimes for readings and with you guys <laughs> it's definitely that word and I really feel like throughout this first interaction, you guys are going to be so mesmerized by each other and there is going to be extreme attraction and it's going to be pretty obvious from both of you guys' side, all right? But then still, it's kind of like there is this need for you guys to connect maybe in a much more intimate way um like now okay what do i mean by that it could be the case that for example you guys are going to meet in some kind of a social setting so you're not going to be alone you may not have that much time to really dive into um you know maybe topics or, or great conversations maybe you're there with someone else you know maybe you guys are there with other people um and you know you can't really emerge into each other's energies the way you would want to and i feel like there is a lot of emphasis on the second meeting which could for example be a date which is going to be much more intimate in the sense that you know you may be there i mean not maybe i feel like you're gonna be there by yourselves you know maybe let's just say let's take a restaurant as an example right and you're gonna have the space in which you can and like go into the kind of conversations you really wanted to within the first meeting or connect like that much i'm hearing much more time much more space much more energy to dedicate towards each other oh my goodness you guys this is attraction and honestly, not only attraction, this is you guys connecting very deeply. From the beginning, it doesn't feel like something that is going to take you guys a few dates or maybe even a couple of months to, you know, connect to a certain level. I really feel like you're going to hit it off pretty easy and pretty quickly. And it's very deep okay i'm getting a message i'm gonna put it out there as always my dear take it how it resonates but this is really the energy that's coming through this could be a soulmate or even a twin flame all right so take it how it resonates i know for some people maybe you don't believe in certain concepts so that's totally fine but this is a message for someone for sure so you have to see for yourself how it um, connects with you but it definitely makes a lot of sense if this um, is some kind of a spiritual connection because it really feels like that as well um, but it's not only about that I can see two souls coming together and one second I'm receiving a message I'm hearing the feminine and the masculine very clearly. This is not connected to gender. This is connected to um, the energies of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Oh my goodness. My dear pal too, your next relationship, um, this is with someone that you could have a spiritual connection with. Oh my goodness, this is a very significant relationship. Another message that I'm receiving here for you guys is that I feel like most of you guys could have been single for quite a long time or you may have been patiently waiting. This is what I'm hearing. Maybe for the right person or someone that you are attracted to. Maybe there are certain criterias that are very important for you when it comes to being in a relationship with someone. 
but I really feel like you have been waiting or at least when you are going to be in this connection, you will have waited for some time. This is what I'm getting. And another thing, my dear, that I would like to mention um, is that this is more so about you. So it's kind of like, yeah, maybe your spirit guides, I would say, sharing this insight with you. At the time where you will, I'm hearing be with this person. So not when you guys will meet, no. At the time where you maybe consciously choose to be with them, um, you get official and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm even hearing at the time when you will have your first kiss. So that's interesting. You will have to, one second yeah okay there will be an ending in your life a very a big ending i'm hearing some aspect in your life will come to i'm hearing a door will close and when one door closes another one opens so something that may have taken quite a lot of energy from you let me give you guys an example now this doesn't have to resonate with you in your individual case or situation it could be a completely different situation or example okay but this is just so you guys understand me better let's just say someone like this is related to their work or their career let's just say they have been in like some kind of job which took a lot of energy from them i'm specifically getting something which isn't which hasn't been satisfying to you or maybe the outcome wasn't as you liked it to be so let's just say someone was in a career or in a job that wasn't really the way they wanted to be um maybe it's even had the stagnation energy it didn't allow you to go the way you would want to go you felt like okay it's like a um a wall in front of me i cannot move forward i really feel like you guys are going to bring an end to this because it's taking a lot of energy from you and i want to tell you that with this person you're going to get a lot of energy so it's kind of like a contrast one area of your life giving you a lot of energy and the other taking a lot of energy from you and you will not be okay with that you will bring an end to whatever it is that's taking so much from you honestly i'm literally hearing a like energy vampire but it doesn't have to be an actual like person as i said it could even be for example your job that is like a energy vampire taking um, this from you. So this is something I'm getting in here. And I see you acting on it. I see you not wanting to carry it around any further. Because I'm hearing my energy is too precious for that. So that's interesting as well. And you're going to close that door. You're going to close the chapter, whatever it may be bring an end to that cycle and you will want to move towards something new something which is going to make you feel like you're moving towards um somewhere you know you're not stagnant but you're actually on the kind of path that you see right for yourself and f especially i'm hearing growing or growth development you feel like you are bringing a development into something you're growing also in that area of your life so for example if it is connected to your job you may feel like you're actually growing in your career as well instead of just feeling stagnant One thing, and this is connected to this person. Uh, 
one characteristic that you're going to notice about them is that they're pretty grounded. This is someone who I would say likes to take things like slow and steady. And I'm hearing going to appreciate this about this person a lot. This is someone who knows what they want. Someone who could even be for some of you guys at the time you meet. Um, for some I'm hearing be somehow already established but they need this security it's coming through and even in a relationship they need this security as well but the way they like to go about a relationship is definitely in a slower way and when i say slower um, i guess the best way to phrase it like i'm always trying to find ways to um <laughs> explain certain energies to you guys better um let's just say if you guys um if you know tarot or you know some basics about tarot you may know that you know slow energy pentacles energy right can really suit this pentacles energy can signify or symbolize this this slow energy in comparison to let's just say, um, wands energy that can sometimes really bring forward the speedy energy, right? But when I say slower and I say the pentacles energy, the pentacles energy, of course, it depends on the card, right? And the spread and stuff like that. But there are, of course, a lot of cards that in the pentacles energy also show the stability, and I really feel like when it comes to this person, their attention, excuse me, their intention, <laughs> their intention when it comes to moving slow is not because they want to annoy you or um, something like that. Or it's not just because they don't like to take it faster. In fact, especially because of the spiritual connection they would want to take it much faster however for them taking things slow means building things on a firm foundation and i have received this message before in previous readings i remember this very clearly so maybe you have seen a um, previous reading of me and you got this message so this could definitely be a confirmation here but the reason why they're taking it slow is because of this stability energy I've been talking about that we can find in certain um, pentacles cards that they want to build this on something that is going to be firm. It's going to be a great foundation. It's going to be something that will not fall, like break down because it was built too fast, right? And, um, I mean, that doesn't mean f relationships that go fast, they break down. Of course not. But I'm getting this from their view. I'm getting this from their energy. I'm reading it from what's coming through from them. And for this person, from their personal opinion, they like to take things slow because they believe that when you take time in building something it will be more stable, okay? So we're getting, I guess, a glimpse of this person's mindset or maybe how they see relationships, how they go about relationships. And this is definitely coming through here. And yeah, also about your next relationship, right? So this could be a relationship that's going to be built slowly, which is going to be a contrast to, once again, all the sensations you're going to feel towards them, all the attraction stuff like that because of the connection, because of the spiritual connection. So it's going to be very interesting to see how you're going to, um, like you personally, how you're going to experience this. I mean, how you're going to feel about this. Because there is one thing you really want, but then there is something else that's gonna, um, one second. I'm 
Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting dynamic. And not only that, my dear, there's also the element of trust in here. Especially for those of you guys who have trust issues. You know, very often in spiritual connections, it may be the case that through the connection, um, something, you know, we may have struggled with for some time, it, it comes up. It's kind of like there is this opportunity for us to deal with this so we can grow from it. And with you guys, I feel like maybe if, of course, this resonates for some, maybe this trust element is something that doesn't come easy to you either. However, in this relationship, you will have this decision, which is going to make you have to trust them. And in a way, jump into cold waters, but it's much more healing and nurturing. So maybe this is not the best way to phrase it. It's kind of like this person and you, you're going to feel safe to trust. You know, this wall that you have put up or this insecure energy regarding whether you can truly trust someone else or not. In this relationship, if you want this to work, you will have to trust them. And when you decide to go for it, of course, you know, you have free will. Always. Even if a potential is there, even if certain paths are in front of you, you can decide whether you want to really go on them or not. You still have the last decision. This is what is very important in our human experience. So if this is something you then choose to really embark on with this person, it's almost like you're being rewarded because you, you're going to get this confirmation. Yes, there are still some people out there who I can trust or just because I have had some negative experiences in the past when it comes to trusting people, that doesn't mean everyone on this planet Earth is like that. That doesn't mean just because I've encountered bad people in the past that there are no good people out there. But it's kind of like you're being, um, you're going to have this decision to, to put yourself in this situation. Because if you don't, you will never know. And you're going to decide to trust them. And you're going to get this, um, I'm hearing this, this lesson. You're going to learn the lesson that. The people in the past are in the past. We should not try to confuse ourselves, I'm hearing, when it comes to new people. Because they, they are not our exes, they are not our um, past experiences, they are new people. So this is very interesting for some of you guys. Maybe you sometimes have a hard time with um, letting go of the past. Or maybe you sometimes fear repeating patterns to come back. Maybe you feel like, okay, because I've experienced something in the past, I will experience it again in the future. Or my past relationships are what I can get in the future as well. Like I can't get better than that or it's the only kind of relationship I can get. You know, if you find yourself in a situation in which you do feel like your past is influencing your present moment very, very much and you feel like you have those thoughts, then this is definitely the message for you. <sighs> that this person is not going to be a past person. They are a new person and... This is how you're going to go about it. You will not put a mistake that someone in the past has done to you onto this person's shoulders. You will see them as someone new entering your life and 
you're gonna see the potential in this. I, I mean, of course, we've talked about this now that this is a spiritual connection, but you're gonna recognize it yourself. You're gonna see it. And you're gonna embrace the healing that's gonna bring with it. Yes, you may feel like, okay, um, for example, this trust element, I've been trying to hide away from it. Oh, yeah, look at the candle. Definitely someone has, has some issues when it comes to their trust. But you could have, once again, um, struggled with this for some time. And this relationship is going to give you a great space to look into that. But I mean... One second... I'm getting so many messages for you guys, like I'm being bombarded. <laughs> I really have to um, collect my like thoughts. Yeah, you know what I got? Like sometimes, um, okay. You know, sometimes a person may work on themselves, right? So for example, maybe you're single and you're working right now on this healing when it comes to your trusting people. And um, maybe you've done a lot of work, but until we put ourselves in, in the situation, we will not know whether we have really healed or not. Like maybe you as you being single, um, you think that, okay, yes, I can... I can trust people again, like I am definitely open to it, but until you actually come to the situation in which um, you you will have to trust someone, right? You will not know whether you have truly healed. I hope you guys understand what I mean. It's kind of like we have to go into a situation which requires something to see whether we are okay with it or not. And this is what I'm seeing here as well. So maybe be before you meet this person, you will have done some work and, um, you know, you have really worked on yourself. And this relationship is really going to be the confirmation for you to, to go for it, to really see um, how you have developed when it comes maybe to your trust issues and stuff like that. And yeah, it's really going to be this, in a way, also epiphany moment. But I'm hearing, I choose love over fear. Which makes love sense because the blockages we have may be there because of some kind of fear, right? The wall that is up, it may be because we want to protect ourselves. We fear, you know, what may happen when we um, put ourselves in some kind of vulnerable position and stuff like that, right? And I really feel like in this relationship, you don't want to allow your fears to determine what kind of relationship it is that you can have or your decisions overall, really. So you can choose for yourself that you want to trust them. Because I'm hearing, I don't want to resist what I want. This is interesting. Maybe for some of you guys, you at times... You find yourself resisting some kind of love because you're scared of something that may come from it or may not come from it. So I feel like for some of you guys, you may have some blockages that you need to work on when it comes to love. And when I say love, I don't mean only romantic love. It could be self-love or love towards family, you know, and other dynamics because they're all interconnected. When we are disconnected from ourself, it will also, for example, show itself in a romantic connection. It's all interconnected. But I really feel like someone's spirit guides really needed to express this message with them. That if you're watching this and you really feel like, okay, yes, there are indeed some, some aspects I see within myself that really need nurture and attention and um, in my healing, in my understanding, then this is definitely 
uh, yeah, a sign for you. This is so interesting. Although this is about your next relationship, I got a lot of messages coming through about you. But there is a reason for it, my dear. There is a reason for it. This is definitely the messages that you may have, yeah, needed to hear today. So, my dear pal two, this is all I have for you guys for today. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And as always, if you haven't, of course, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel, my dear. If you do, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal two, take care, my dear. Hey, pal three, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's see, what do you need to know about your next relationship, my dear? Now, as always, I have already meditated for you guys and... I would say, my dear, let's start straight away. So everything is welcome to regarding your next relationship, who it's going to be with, what kind of relationship you're going to experience, um, anything, anything you need to know, my dear. I definitely, yeah, welcome it. So I already have your candle. So let's light it up for you guys. Let's see. All right. So, my dear, as always, please give me a moment to tune into the energies in here for you guys. So, let's see for my dear pile three. What do you guys need to know about your next relationship? Let's see, let's see. This is so interesting. In all the three pals I got, or at least in the first and the second one, I got a lot of messages regarding who they're going to have this next relationship with. And the first message for you guys is also who it's going to be with. So I really feel like today... Maybe a lot of intentions have been to knowing more about the next person. Like a lot of people choosing the piles maybe wanted to get to know more about who it's going to be with. And for you guys, the first message I'm getting is about um, this person as well. So first of all, I really feel like, my dear, the person you're going to have your next relationship with is someone who is a very generous person and I would like to talk about this because there is a lot um, we need to talk about regarding that. First of all, let me talk about their energy. This person's energy feels very abundant. It would not surprise me at all if this is someone who has a lot going for them, you know, is not only abundant when it comes to their... Um, like life quality, but also when it comes to their financial situation, very abundant. Um, someone who sees life very abundantly in general. Okay, so this word is it's definitely um, very emphasized in here, but I feel like this is someone who is not only... One second, I'm getting a message. Yeah, I'm getting that this person is not only comfortable when it comes to their life, but they are very satisfied. This is someone who is putting their energy into the things that make sense for them. For example, when we talk about this person's work, I really feel like they may do something that they're passionate about, something that really gives them a lot of energy and also when we talk about the people this person has around them definitely people who they trust um this could be someone who has a small circle or you know even if they like to have small talk and stuff like that and be like social with people also with like um 
strangers and stuff like that still they definitely have a very sacred circle that not everyone can step into i really feel like this person they have this level of of peacefulness to them when it comes to all things in their life is taken care of and this is what i mean also when i say abundant they're not lacking okay like i'm not getting any lacking energy about when it comes to them of course they you know as other people it's part of life you know problems come and go and stuff like that but when we talk about them as a person and you know the areas of their life it looks pretty balanced and i feel like this is something that this person has worked for so so hard not just something that um came out of the blue they've definitely i'm hearing put a lot of like um sweat and tears into those areas of their life and they've created something very long term for themselves so when you get to know this person this could even be one of the first impressions you're going to have of them it's really it may feel like maybe the way this person carries themselves maybe the way this person is gonna come through someone who has things taken care of off like they know who they are they know where they're moving in life they know what they're capable of someone who is genuinely very happy when it comes to where their life is at the moment very interesting And because this person is someone who knows what they want, they know where they're moving towards, I don't feel like this is someone who entertains confusing energy or drama and stuff like that. This feels like someone who, if they feel like someone coming towards them is not on the same frequency as them or maybe has negative intentions towards them or maybe is bringing some kind of confusing excuse me confusing energy into their life or maybe even drama this person just like that they're gonna cut them off i'm hearing uh, my energy like i ain't got no time for that like no i refuse that my energy i'm not gonna just give it away for free i'm not just gonna allow anyone to come with their i'm hearing with their bs so wow okay they definitely have some boundaries up and they don't tolerate everyone's energy this is someone who knows <laughs> what they um deserve and they're very quick to act but the reason for that is because once again it took this person so much time and energy to build the kind of life that they have now and they're not just gonna allow a random person to come in and destroy it or to bring some kind of disharmony into this um harmonious space that they have put so much love into or so much energy into they're very <laughs> yeah careful when it comes to this for sure Yeah, you see, you guys, I'm getting a lot of message regarding this person. Another thing I would like to say here is that when it comes to your guys' relationship, both of you guys are going to see it um, as having a lot of potential for a commitment, like for something long term. You're going to see in it a long term like relationship, you know, this is not um like you know this is not something um such as maybe a short relationship or a fling or something like that no i really feel like both of you guys you know what you want it's not only this person at the time when you will meet them if of course you haven't met this person yet both of you guys know what you want and i feel like your values are going to be very similar 
both of you guys are going to want the same kind of relationship. And maybe be because you're going to see so much similar energy when it comes to your um, your expectations, when it comes to relationships and stuff like that, you're going to see the other person as a great choice for that. So for example, let me explain it like that. Let's just say you guys come together and both of you guys are very... Mm, this is just an example, okay? It doesn't have to resonate. But let's just say both of you guys want to get married. That's a great way to start because, okay, you know, the vision that you have for your next long-term relationship is the same. Or let's just say both of you guys are coming in with a plan for a long-term relationship, you know? Stuff like that. It feels like the vision that you have for your life and love when it comes to the next years is going to be very similar and you're going to feel like okay yeah this is someone who i can actually build those things with or they fit into what i'm looking for this is basically what i'm getting here and not only that I'm getting also that when it comes to your guys' relationship, there is a beautiful dynamic that you guys have together. Now, this dynamic, honestly, the first word that came into my mind was um, power couple, <laughs> which is very interesting. But I would like to say a little bit more about it. I first of all feel like there are a lot of different levels to your guys' relationship. So you guys are not only great when it comes to creating a dynamic for a romantic connection, but for example, you guys could also be great doing business together or even um, having a great friendship together, you know? You guys, the foundation of your relationship could also be a great friendship in addition to the um being lovers aspect but i really feel like you guys make things work very good together and that's what i'm saying i mean that's not something you have to do with this person of course but if for some of you guys an opportunity arises and you know maybe you guys have plans to work together somehow or create something together I really see you guys working as a team, having the best intentions towards each other and towards a, a goal, being very transparent, very determined, both of you guys. You work very well together. If some of you guys, um, you kind of meet in some kind of work environment, it would not surprise me at all, but I mean, it doesn't have to. This is not um, a message. This is just, you know, a possibility. But I really feel like whether you guys meet, connected to work or not, later on, an opportunity may arise, which maybe makes you guys want to work with each other somehow. Because there is a lot of fruition in it. It's kind of like when you guys put your minds into something together, you can create something great out of it or you can birth something wonderful out of it. Yeah, you definitely work great together, my dear. Let me tell you that. Another thing that I would like to to mention here is that and this was something that i got already coming through from the meditation as well i really feel like my dear pal three when we talk about your guys's connection there is one thing that's gonna stand out so much and it's the emotional connection you guys are gonna bond together emotionally pretty quickly and I'm hearing maybe even for some of you guys, it's going to make you feel some type of way in the sense that um, maybe you feel like it's going too quickly or you just don't understand how you can connect emotionally like that with someone 
for such a like small period of time but I see this being emphasized here very very much honestly this could even be love at first sight I'm just gonna put it out there as always my day take it how it resonates I know not everyone may believe in certain concepts but this is a message so it is for someone out there but I really feel like um rather first excuse me whether love at first sight or not the emotional bond is gonna be the force the main force when it comes to you guys's connection even stronger than the um the mental connection or maybe even the physical connection at first okay i'm talking here only about the beginning that this emotional incredible emotional yeah relationship that you're going to build with each other it's going to be i'm hearing unbreakable it's going to be something that Wow. Honestly, this is a very intense connection. Very intense. I'm wondering whether you guys, if of course you have been in relationships before in the past, because maybe for some of you guys you haven't, but if you have... I'm wondering whether you have actually had such an emotional connection to someone before or so early on in the relationship or even like um, even earlier than that, like during the dating. Because this is what this feels like. It feels like the emotional connection is going to be much more dominant than, for example, the physical connection in the beginning. It's kind of like your heart's going to touch before your body's going to touch for the first time. If you understand what I mean. First, your hearts are going to come together. Oh, this sounds like... <laughs> This sounds like a very romantic connection, honestly. Maybe this is also going to be something that you're going to find yourself in. This is a very romantic relationship. I'm even hearing the most romantic one you've ever had. So yeah, if this is something you like, then definitely um, a lot of different experiences for you to look forward to here. I feel like a lot of like traditionally seen romantic events or plannings like even things that maybe some people find like cheesy i really feel like it's gonna give you so much joy experiencing them with this person hey maybe they are the romantic person and they're gonna introduce you to this you know to a very romantic connection and uh, I'm seeing dates coming through. Dates that are gonna bring out those butterflies, you know? The first, um, like, you know those feelings when a person has their, maybe, maybe their first date? The sensations, maybe the butterflies and all that. It's exactly what I'm seeing in here. Hey, maybe for some of you guys, you may even have your first ever date with this person for others maybe you've had dates in the past but it definitely feels like a first date this excitement or maybe it's that you're gonna have such romantic dates for the very first time you know the extent that this person goes to it could be very i'm hearing movie like <laughs> so that's interesting Maybe you're going to plan certain dates that you've seen in movies before, but you have never experienced yourself. Such as, you know, like a picnic or um, a candlelight dinner and stuff like that. I mean, it depends on your um, situation, but there is this sweetness coming through, you know? Like someone 
biting into a fruit that is very, very sweet. This is what this feels like. As I said, my dear, this feels like a long-term relationship. And honestly, for some of you guys, this could even be a lifelong relationship. But as always, of course, take it how it resonates. But I'm feeling a very strong commitment. Like out of all the three piles, this pile is the pile with the strongest commitment. Could even be, um, you know legal commitment like contract marriage and stuff like that but of course it doesn't have to so don't worry <laughs> if you're watching this and you don't want that of course i'm getting a lot of different messages for a lot of different people because this is a general reading but definitely this aspect of it is also coming through here so this could be so for someone but the key point in here is that this is a very strong commitment For some of you guys, some aspects of this relationship I'm hearing could even be traditional. Of course, it depends on where you're from because um, tradition can look very, very different in a lot of different parts of the world. Although there are some similarities here and there, but something about it is going to be a little bit traditional. That's something I'm getting here as well. My dear pal three, this is all I have for you guys for today. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know yeah, how you feel about this reading. And as always, my dear, if you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal three, take care, my dear.